Now you may recall a while back on the channel I reviewed a game called Demolish Derby Nitro Battle to give it a shorthand name, an absolute travesty of a title from Insta Marketing and Game which attempted to capitalise on the fan base of the original Destruction Derby games of the early 90s, promising realistic car crashing mechanics and a big world where you can have fun wrecking your vehicle. In actuality, the game was a complete bag of shy. It was boring as hell with no opponents to smash up and little to no destruction, but somehow Game to Top Corp have managed to trump this with their game Heavy Car Battle Demolition Derby. Without further ado though, let's take a look at just how bad this one is, and be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content and want to see more. Now it comes as no surprise that the main menu in this one is about as generic as you can get and the format has been replicated across a ton of their games already, but we get some basic audio settings, a garage in which we're told that in order to unlock additional vehicles we need to obtain 3 star ratings in events, and there are 6 vehicles in total to unlock. And finally we have the level select menu where we can see that we need to complete each level in turn to unlock the next one. Hitting play though, we're dropped into our first arena with a swanky little camera pan giving us a look at just how barren it actually is. Now the first thing you'll know is that despite there being a long established control layout for racing games, Game to Top Corp have said fuck it to standardisation and instead have gone ahead and switched the accelerate and brake buttons so that ZL is accelerate and ZR is brake, and you'll also note that despite the eShop stating that you'll face off against 7 competitors, there are in fact only 5 of them. Upon beginning the so called battle for survival though, the complete lack of effort on the developer's part is immediately apparent, not only from a gameplay perspective but also audio wise, as other than the sound of your vehicle's engine, the barely audible engines of your opponents and the sound effects played when pickups are collected or triggered, the game contains no sound effects or music whatsoever, and is completely void of the pleasurable smashes and crashes which are usually associated with these kind of games. Getting into gameplay though, the eShop listing advertises this one as a battle for survival and states your one and only objective as being to collect two points scattered randomly across the battleground, so unlike the real destruction derby, you're not explicitly expected to smash up your opponents in this one and can indeed just wait it out and be a complete fanny dodging about the place while your opponents smash each other up. However, doing so will not net you the 3 star rating required to unlock additional vehicles. The effort you're going to have to go to to earn your prize though, far outweigh the benefits, as vehicle combat is completely fucked in this one. Not only does your car have the turning circle of the fucking Titanic, meaning that the simple act of manoeuvring is a complete chore, the damage you do is also extremely inconsistent, with heavy smashes sometimes resulting in zero damage, whilst the tiniest of pranks removes a massive chunk of durability. You'll also find that, more often than not, you actually do more damage to yourself than your opponents, but in order to remedy this, the developer has thrown a few power-ups into the mix, including a toolbox which restores some of your damage, an ice bomb which slows your opponents down when they drive into it, and a standard bomb which deals heavy amounts of damage to them. But your opponents can also snag and activate these pickups and the coloured hue surrounding them is the only thing distinguishing actual pickups from active bombs. So needless to say the whole thing is a complete fucking mess. To complete levels you just have to sit around and wait for those point pickups to spawn which requires no effort whatsoever as your opponents will just destroy each other and once they're gone you have an unlimited amount of time in which to grab them. If you for some reason do however want to unlock those extra vehicles, you'll somehow have to time your attacks to take out your opponents and then pray to RN Jesus that the damage actually registers. But like I said, the effort isn't worth the reward with this one, as the second vehicle, this big heavy armoured bastard, whilst having a better turning circle, takes way more damage than your standard muscle car, and in one hit I lost almost a quarter of my health bar with it. The pièces de résistance though are the levels, or lack thereof, as this appears to be the one and only arena in the game, and the only thing separating one level from the next is the number of enemies you need to destroy to get the stars and the number of points you need to complete them. 
In short, another complete bag of shit of a game from a disgustingly deceptive developer and publisher that doesn't actually give a shit about games or the people it's trying to con into buying them. If you want to know more about Game to Top Corp though, or Midnight Works as they're otherwise known, be sure to check the description box below for links to my videos on them and go watch my Scam Games playlist for an eye opener on the back catalogue of Scam Games. For now though, I do hope you enjoyed this one and hopefully I was able to save you a couple of quid with it and if I did, do me the honours of dropping a like and if you want to see more like this, consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching and as always, take care of yourselves and game on.